welcome back everybody. Hope you're all summered well. Um, the usual deal today, the embargo will be a Sunday embargo, so it will be 10.30 on Saturday evening for that embargo, please. Um, we've got two new members of the comms team with the mics, so if you could just show of hands for the full wear. There we go. Um, and if you could give your name and organisation for your question, that would be grateful. <coughs> okay, we'll start with Ben in the middle, please. Pep, welcome back. You're looking very well. Um, I think you can probably guess where we're starting, but the transfer window closes in six days' time. How much business are you expecting this club to do before it does? A few. No, good morning to everyone. I didn't miss you, but I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> when you say few, what does that mean? No, I miss you a lot, you know that. Um, a few. In few, few. And maybe outs? A few, in and out, yeah. While you've been away, there's been a lot of speculation about Leroy Sane and whether he wants to stay or go. Is it down to the player whether he wants to stay here? So you were not in China, so uh, um, I just answered many, many times this question, so I'm not away about the rumours, so I know they exist. So I said many times, so I want the players who want to stay, because it's impossible for me as a manager, as a club, convince one player to do what we want to do, and his head is away from here. But uh, the player didn't tell me anything, and no players that we have now didn't tell me anything they want to leave, so... That is that is the only reality I have. So if they knock the door and tell me I want to leave, okay. After I said, okay, we're going to speak with the clubs, but nobody tell me that. So that's why is our player is my player, and and uh, we want to stay. He must stay here because we try to to extend the contract, and uh, you know, for more than one year, and we were quite close months ago, and now it's a little bit different but uh, that is the reality I cannot say anymore the same I answered to in China so that is where it is the transfer window here in England closes before some of the windows in Europe does that make your job more difficult and will you consider selling a player after the window is closed no it's easier I like to finish I think in England and many many things is they are they are leading in many aspects, the way you have to, to do for the manager, for the club is perfect. When I start the season, the transfer window is over. So hopefully in the rest of Europe is going to follow what in England has start. And I think it's the best. So when before the first game from the <coughs> Premier League, you know exactly in which players we are going to play the rest of the season until transfer window in December. Yeah. Pep, Simon Stone, BBC. Um, Earlier this week, Jurgen Klopp uh, made a comment about the lack of spending from Liverpool and said that his club is not in a position like other clubs, meaning Manchester City and possibly Real Madrid, Barcelona and PSG, that they can carry on spending and spending and spending. Are you bothered about other managers saying that? And also, does it concern you that almost everything that Manchester City does comes with people saying, yeah, but... They only do it because of the money. Yeah, that's true. If it bothered me, of course it bothered me. Because it's not true. We have spent 200 million every transfer market. That is not true. So it's Liverpool. You never walk alone. So it's not a small team. It's Liverpool. So, of course, I don't like it because it's not true. Uh, because last season we spent 17, one seven, in just one player. So when I said two seasons ago when I spent a lot, it's because... I took over the team, like, uh, again, 10, 11 players more than 30 years. You have to do it. But we cannot spend 200 uh, millions every season. Like, for example, Liverpool has spent more than 200 millions last season. They cannot do it this season, but it's the same. So we bought one player this season, and Angelino, who make a payback clause, so come back with us, and that is the reality. So today, the clubs cannot spend every single season a lot, a lot of money. And another point, what happened Barcelona Madrid to the other clubs, I don't know, because I am not there about the money, it's about they can spend. If they think they can do it, it's because they can do it. I don't know, that's why the financial fair play, when something is wrong, 
the clubs is not correct will be punished so that is a reality but also I'm not in the comments for the other managers or other colleagues because they say what they want to say only I can say that is not true and in terms of your team you you won everything in English football last year do you feel as though your team is in a better position now than it was last year because it it's hard to imagine how you can improve on winning everything. Of, of course, we know each other better than the, than the first season. So now we start in the first season when we talk about what you're going to do, the players, they know it. So it's easier for our job. But to start from zero, start again. Our rivals will be stronger, uh, all of them. And, but we are ready to accept the challenge, to, to be in there until the end. Pep Dom McGuinness Talk Sport. Uh, in terms of the challenge, it starts this weekend. Uh, in terms of the players that have been away, the South Americans, Mares, what kind of a team are we likely to see this weekend? Will they all be available? Who's going to be available? Who's back? Everything else? Well, except Fernandinho, everybody's back. Today arrived last two, Eddie and, and Riyad. And uh, two days ago arrived Sergio and, and Gabriel. And maybe someone else, I don't know. Not yet today. So, uh, yeah, normally we, we have two more substitutes and uh, I think it will be hot in London. The physical condition still is not in, in the best, but uh, we are going to try to play with the players who play more minutes, you know, in this preseason because they are more rhythm and they are more normal situation in the place. The guys who came back later, like these names I, I said before, so maybe they have a few minutes, you know, from, from, from the last minutes, but we have more chances for the substitutions. At the end of the season, obviously, you said farewell to Vincent Company Through pre-season and now as you start the new campaign, have you identified the man that, that can be that voice, that, that can be anything like a Vincent Company if you like, or have you seen other players step up? Have you decided that the full-on captain now for the new season? Well, when, when Fernandinho's coming back after the next week, they are going to decide who will be the, the captains. <laughs> So you need Fernandinho to be back before you decide, would it be him then, presumably? No, I want to be all together. To choose uh, the captain, they have to choose it, they'll be all together. Hi, I bet Paul Hurst from The Times. You, you met Jürgen twice uh -huh. in the German equivalent of this competition, or yeah. this trophy. What do you remember from those occasions and how does that German Super Cup kind of compare to how we look at the Community Shield here? Well, we played two times and... Uh, uh, always in Dortmund away because in Germany when you win the the league and the cup and still to play at home on a neutral stadium you play in a way in my first season still time to discover my team discover the German football discover uh, you know the strength points for our opponents especially Borussia Dortmund in that time and uh, and they they beat us easy in this in this period after in the league we beat it them easy but in the Super Cup they beat us and do you think we don't look at Community Shield as the same kind of importance as in Germany or, or Spain? Well, I think in Spain, especially in, in my period there in Germany, they are more enthusiastic. But what the people say in England, the Community Shield is a traditional tournament. And of course, they're going to continue for many, many years. So, and it's an honour. So to play that competition means you have to win or the Premier League or the FA Cup. So it's not easy to play that competition. And being there means means a lot so so we we won both so that's why i think we deserve to play this competition this game tomorrow i think hi pep here uh, yeah. max Cardenas for fox sports and radio cooperativa uh, how do you evaluate the the comeback of claudio bravo in these precision games but really impressed i think uh, he showed his uh, in fact for the the tempo the personality because it's not easy age 33 34 one year out one year out and come back and play in the goalie. That's why I play a lot of all minutes in the preseason. Tomorrow is going to play. The after tomorrow, sorry, is going to play. So, and it was good, really good. And the other one is, was very weird for us to don't see Claudio in the in Copa America with Chile, you know, he's the captain. And and you think it's better for him because sometimes you know, the, the manager one don't play, you know, this type of on the national team because they want to be in the in, in the training with you. Do you think it's better for him to don't go to Copa America to prepare this for this season? I don't know. 
So I don't judge my colleagues take a decision. So I don't know it was completely fit to play the Copa America, Claudio. So it was one year. So it was an infection in his operation and took a lot of time to recover, to start to do it and start to training in the last part of the last season, one month, two months. I honestly I didn't know it was have been good to, to go to the to the Copa America. The important now is fit and the national team needs him, so uh, he will be ready. Uh, hey, I'm Kaya from uh, Viasport Norway. Obviously, Jurgen Klopp, one of the only managers who's uh, been able to beat you more times than he's lost. How much do you thrive from that rivalry against Jurgen Klopp? And does he inspire you in any way? Yeah, many things. I think class manager, top manager. So his, his teams is identified quite well in Dortmund, playing in quite similar. Yeah. Top manager, incredible, so good. It's an incredible challenge for me every time we we face his teams, and and I think is his message always. He's always is a positive way in the way he plays. His message always and uh, his behavior and smile and hugging, and, and I think it's so good for the for the football, and the messages is always in in positive way. Well, sometimes some exceptions, but <laughs> in most of the times it's it's good. Thank you. Hi, Pep. This time last year, you were speaking a lot with us and to the players about complacency and how you didn't want them to slack off after the 100-point season. What's your approach this time around? Do you trust them a bit more to be to be ready to play or do you still need to keep on top of them and make sure no. they are ready to go again? I will be nicer this season. They convinced me definitely this type of players what they had done last season, so there's no doubts. If we are not able to do it, it's because the opponent was better or we are not good enough, but uh, not about... Uh, at the end of the season, I didn't know how we handle, how could we handle our success, and and I think it was incredible. The people are still, but maybe maybe yes, I may not know. So it was incredible what they have done last season after 100 points, and the target is is keep improving. Have you been in this situation before, like at Bayern, maybe going into the third season? You were nicer with the players then. Is that something you normally do if they convince you? No, I'm, I'm a little bit different too. So my third or fourth season in Barcelona in the season is a little bit different right now here. I'm maybe more calm. I, maybe I trust more in myself and my players. So it depends. So I'm 48, so I'm not 26. So hi, Pep. Uh, Dom Farrell from Omnisport. When you've all the time you've been here, when you talk about Bayern, you talk about Bayern Munich being a great club, one of the institutions in European football. Mm. Therefore, I have to ask, have you been surprised or maybe disappointed to see so many people from Bayern talk publicly about Leroy during this summer? No, I'm not disappointed. First, because I know them, most of them. And I know how it works this world. So everybody talks and talks. Also, I talk too much sometimes and... So no, really not. So I know how it works this world. So keep the secrets or keep don't do it. Everything for the other one. No offense. I'm pretty sure they don't do it offense <laughs> most of the times. That is what it is. So and nothing else. So the important is uh, is we have our player. In that case, Leroy is here and and try to be ready to play the season. Hey, Pat, you're talking before about um, the physical conditions of the players not being quite there yet. When do you expect them to be fully up and running? I don't know, but I think every week will be better. So I think we are able to, to play in high intensity. Tomorrow we have uh, five, six new players in the last minutes or last 30 minutes, so we can play in high, high intensity level and good level. And uh, I don't know, but I think soon. For the way we're training, for the way... I know now we know exactly better what we have to do. It that helps to be on the pitch better and, and you know, in the physicality. And I think during this month, we're going to take it now. In this month, we have one game a week. We have long weeks to prepare. I think the precision will start really, really right now. So it's not maybe not sense, but now we have the next four games, so August week, August month, uh, one game a week. So we have a lot of training sessions. The precision is now. So in China and the States, the precision is okay. You start to, you know, to run, no injuries, 
because the condition the facilities are not good and now now we start to you know to fix what we believe we have to fix and after during the process during the games during the month we're going to see oh we're we're going good way and bad way we have to train more in that section or less in that section and and we'll see and try to win in games in that period can i mention the facilities there on when you're away on tour i i know that you kind of understand the commercial demands that the club has but is would you kind of look to say to the club next season? Can we? No, it's not about the commercials. Commercial is few. It's normal. You have to do it. All the clubs, the big clubs, do it. So you have to do it. So at the end, the club needs resources, and we have to be able to do that. So the salaries we won't come from from these positions. You have to do it. It's more the fact for the travel. China is a huge country, and to move you need two hours. And especially jet lag, seven, eight hours difference, the people that don't sleep. When you are able, okay, now you can sleep, you have to come back to Manchester and review again the jet lag here. So it's that period, the humidity, you, you live there, you work there, so you go out and it's, you know, it's almost impossible to train. And that, that is the problem. So that's why the distance from hotel, the stadiums is always long. Arrive there, 23 hours the day after, train two hours and go to another city, another place. So that is not the best way, but it's what it is. Uh, and the club, so we have to do it, we're going to do it. Here in 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 the States, in South America, whatever, you decide to go. So we have to adapt. Before it was completely different. It was two, three weeks, go to Holland or here, just training, just run and make it. Today is change. Arrive in, two, in three days, you play against top teams. And if you don't win, the people start to criticize you, start, ah, that is a disaster. You have to buy 10 players, you have to send 10 players. And today is not possible to do that. Even Jurgen Klopp is not agree with me. So you cannot sell ten players and buy ten players every season. It's impossible. You have to, you know, to the 85, 90 percent of the of the players keep going and convince them and convince them, convince them to stay longer because today that the, the transfer market is so expensive. Hi, Pep. Um, just on Benjamin Mendy, how is he? Um, when he came back two, three days ago, and he's, he's good. He's trying to, to train the, on the pitch, not with the team, but hopefully next week he can, can be with us. Uh, James Ducker from The Telegraph. Uh, Pep, this is, this, is your, um, this is the first time you've gone into a fourth uh, season with a club, apart from Barcelona. Obviously, there was huge outside political pressures of managing... Barcelona, and I think by the end of that fourth season, you said you were shattered and you needed a break. Do you do you feel going into this season with City a lot more energized for this fourth season than you felt at that time with Barcelona? Yes, he's not comparing. I said many times. First, my hometown. I grew up there. The feelings are more, a little bit more intense, different in the state, and the relation with the media, relation with the day by day, the way we're training is completely different. Yeah. Here we are isolated. We work in so comfortable so no shifty so and and that's why it's uh, it's it's nice so when you win you are a good manager when you lose you are a bad manager everywhere but there is is uh, the relation with the players uh, managers media it's so so it's higher yeah. it's much much higher so mm. here it's, it's much comfortable it's helpful because you obviously put so much mentally and physically yeah. into the job I this, wanna, this this, this yeah. environment is helpful for yeah, you. Yeah, of course, it? of course. And just you mentioned about the players before uh, about the captaincy. Will you? You obviously empower a group of senior players. Will yeah. you let them choose the captain? They have to. Yeah, I'm not going to choose. Right. They have to. Yeah, because when they are not agree with me, they have to come to me or with the club or whatever we do. Yeah. And they you, have to. And you said Sane was close to signing a new contract a month ago, but... Oh, you know, sorry? You said at the start of the press conference that Sane was close on what the contract. What I said two or three weeks ago when Russian with Chiki said it was, wow, it was quite close. Now it's not. Now it's not. Is there any... Can you, no, is there any I don't have any info. So. Hi, Pat. Mike from BBC Radio Manchester. Um... Football league season obviously starts today. Earlier this week, there was a call for Premier League clubs to help out lower league clubs such as Bolton and Bury that are financially stricken at the moment. Do you think that's a good idea? Is that the right way to go? Yeah, 
Well, always I like the the strong teams or power teams help the other ones, but um, I don't know with this average your Bolton and the other team is suffering, but maybe there are many many other ones. Which is the line? Uh, we we help of the conference team, or the league one team, or just this one. So I don't know the. Uh, but it's good. I think Bayern Munich is a big example of that. When I was there, I knew that uh, help. You know, going there with the t- first team, playing a friendly game that helps to, you know, make a lot ticketing game and help to the survive this season for the club. So uh, it's nice. I think this country about the charity, about many many things, they, we do it. Okay, guys, we're an embargo, please for Sundays.